So the Kipco Champion Stakes is next in. This is a Group 1 event over 10 furlongs. And I think it's a pretty big field. The top one is Brunson for Hans Jones. Mr Bobby for Derek Hinton. Shock to the system, Joshua Sutherland. Velvet Lad, David Robertson. Cheesecake, Carla Regante. Delancey Street, Martin Leader. Miss Millennium, Molly Et Surfer. Train Platform, Darren Thompson. Highland Forest, Jim Murray. Django's Jewel, Django. McCracken for John Morgan. Stolen for Django. Stormy Norman for Paul Rhodes. Telekinesis for John Morgan. Cash in your chips for Joshua Sutherland. Fu Yang Furmo and Hefai Hasnonium for Vinnie Gerard. Little Mermaid for Paul Rhodes. Midnight Beyond the Sunset, I think that is, for Molly at Surfer and Rose Sword for Jim Morris. So 20 then, right across the track. And away they go. And Stolen looks like he's going to be the early leader. When this race used to be run at Newmarket, it would have been okay, but we're going around the turns of Ascot these days and 20 runners in the champion stake wouldn't have been a problem at Newmarket but it's going to be a bit of one here and Delancey Street the grey who had little chance anyway one of the rank outsiders has got even less chance now I would have thought I also think that that horse of Vinnie Gerrard's right out the back there is going to struggle as well I think that's Fu Yang Fermo but heading back to the race proper it's Cheesecake that's gone on to the lead by about three got the rail to McCracken in second shot to the system is third Little Mermaid being scrubbed up on the inside is fourth and Telekinesis and Hefi Hasnonium Highland Forest is after that one and then Stormy Norman and Django's jaw Mr Bobby trying to get into it as well looking towards the back Delancey Street is indeed the back marker with Midnight Beyond the it's not some said it's Midnight Beyond the something or other beginning with B anyway it's Cheesecake in the lead then by about four to Django's Jewel in second and Telekinesis is third Fu Yang Fermo is getting a bit closer despite being wide on the track Velvet Lad also trying to get into it as well in those hooped collars but it's Cheesecake in the lead then from Telekinesis here comes Shock to the system around the outside Mr Bobby's also trying to get into it McCracken being scrubbed along on the inside there Telekinesis the other grey he's going to be a little bit boxed in Hefi has known he was trying to get going Fu Yang Fermo is also there as well but it's still Cheesecake they've got to get past here comes Train Platform it's Cheesecake and Train Platform then Mr Bobby on the outside Midnight Beyond the Pines maybe he's also trying to make a bit of a forward move as well but it's Train Platform and Cheesecake Train Platform is in the lead from Cheesecake on the inside then comes Stolen Mr Bobby Little Mermaid trying to get into it as well but it's Train Platform from Midnight Beyond the Pines they're inside the final furlong it's Train Platform in the lead Midnight Beyond the Pines is next then Little Mermaid Train Platform in front by half a length leaves the line Midnight Beyond the Pines trying to get up so too is Little Mermaid but it's got to be Train Platform that I'm going to take it Train Platform arrives on time and takes it Champion Stakes it's a win for Darren Thompson got the right ticket and he got on the right platform and he got on the right train and he's taken it midnight beyond the pines and little mermaid quite a few of them didn't really get into it oh, cheesecake ended up nearer the back on the front and two Vinnie Gerard horses were right out of it as well but it's train platform for Darren Thompson the winner midnight beyond the pines and Molly Etzer for second little mermaid for Paul Rhodes was third and the John Morgan pair telekinesis and McCracken were fourth and fifth